Hi, Hilary O'Brien from ClearPath here. You've probably heard about a clean energy technology called Carbon Capture, Utilization, and Storage, or CCUS for short. This is a method of capturing carbon dioxide, or CO2, from emission sources like power plants and industrial facilities. Another method for reducing emissions is called direct air capture, which removes CO2 that is already in our atmosphere. Think a giant vacuum. And if we're serious about addressing global emissions, we need both. In addition to driving down emissions, CO2 is also a valuable commodity. Carbon dioxide isn't just used to make your beer fizz. Carbon oxides can be used in a variety of everyday products, like building materials, fertilizer, and fuels. CO2 that is not in use can be permanently and safely stored, usually underground, where it resides for thousands of years. But often, captured CO2 isn't located near an available storage or use site and has to be transported to another location. Today, the best and safest way to move CO2 is through pipelines. Pipelines are everywhere, often without us even realizing it. They are beneath our highways, run through our cities, and connect our homes. Other essential resources like natural gas, water, and waste are all moved by pipelines. That's because pipelines are the most land efficient way to transport materials while minimizing environmental impact. The Pipelines and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, also known as PHMSA, has long regulated the security of this infrastructure. PHMSA provides national standards for pipeline design, construction, maintenance, and operation. These ensure that all necessary measures are taken to mitigate risks and safeguard the well being of your family and the environment. Now, let's talk about CO2 pipelines. The U.S. currently has more than 5,000 miles of these pipelines, which have been safely operating across our country for more than 50 years. CO2 is a stable, non-flammable gas. We know it's safe. We breathe it in and out every day. It's even used in fire extinguishers. Over the last 20 years, there have been zero recorded fatalities associated with the very few CO2 pipeline incidents that have occurred. A pipeline accident like we saw in 2020 in Satarsha, Mississippi, while concerning, is extremely uncommon and is not representative of the safety performance of this critical infrastructure over the last several decades. As the demand for clean, reliable, and affordable energy grows, so will the demand for effective carbon management technologies. That means to meet our energy security and global emission reduction goals, the build-out of CO2 pipelines is vital. An estimated 30 to 96,000 miles of CO2 pipelines will be needed by 2050. That's more than five to 18 times the length of our existing network. We get it. Some people are uneasy about new infrastructure, but let's face it, whether you care about global climate change or US competitiveness, we need these technologies. By building out our CO2 pipeline infrastructure, we're not only building our capacity to reduce emissions and protect our environment, we're also creating jobs, bolstering local economies, and continuing to use the energy resources that make our country strong. In America, we're not afraid to build. It's what we do. And through R&D and innovation, we'll continue to leverage the efficiency and maintain the strong safety record this vital American infrastructure. Thanks for watching.